The rates of diabetes in central Australia are some of the highest in the entire world, according to new research. Doctors are trying to close the life expectancy gap, especially among rural indigenous communities. Selena and Rhonda Bob were diagnosed with diabetes as teenagers. Diabetes, which can lead to kidney failure, runs in the family and in this part of Australia it's not an uncommon story. So I was feel I... sad I heard about doctors saying to me, you're going to be in Reno soon and I think you must be lying. New research has found rates of diabetes in central Australia are amongst the highest in the world. This diabetes epidemic happening in remote communities of the NT is really unprecedented in terms of the prevalence. We're talking about 40% of adults in remote Aboriginal communities in Central Australia, 24% of adults in remote communities at the top end. Researchers also found rates are rapidly increasing, with more people diagnosed every year at far younger ages. We think this epidemic is largely grounded in the impacts of colonisation and the dramatic changes in ways of life that that has caused for many people living in remote Aboriginal communities. The doctors face a challenge ahead. They're trying to close the life expectancy gap caused by preventable chronic diseases. Diabetes is a potentially reversible condition. You really only need to lose 15 kilograms from any starting weight to be able to reverse your diabetes. And people have been doing it in a number of ways. Firstly, Aboriginal people have been accessing bariatric surgery. Despite the results, the surgery isn't available in Central Australia. And some people are using up to 13,900 US dollars of their superannuation to avoid long public system wait times. So, for patients like Selena and Rhonda, old-fashioned exercise is the only way to shift the weight and improve their health. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.